G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video we're joined again by our award-winning barber Rex from the Garage Barber Shops in Queensland. In this video he does a very exciting new look made famous by Tom Hardy. It's called the Stubble and Stash. This look was so good that our model Mitch, who used to have a beard, is still rocking this look six months after Rex did it. Um, he loves the way it makes him feel, how, the way it makes him look. Um, so without further ado, we'll crack into the video and we'll show you exactly how to make a stubble and stash work. Hey everyone, Rex Silva again from uh, the Garage Barber Shops in Queensland. Today we're going to do a trending look, the stubble and stash. So the star of this look is the moustache and the stubble is going to give us that great shadow and, and that masculine look on the rest of the face. One of the good advantages of taking a beard off to go back to stubble is that all the fine hair that takes a long time to grow out has grown out. So if you've got a fine and patchy beard, taking it really close can be a good thing because all that hair that does take a little bit longer to grow out, so you're going to have it as thick as it possibly is. Um, if you were to shave clean and grow it out for a week to get that stubble, you still might have those patches and it might not be as thick. Pinch the corners of the mow. We're going for one look all over, so facial hair at any length is still celebrating men's masculinity. And I think that's what, you know, this global resurgence of men's grooming is exactly that, celebrating men's masculinity, men, men owning their manliness again. It doesn't have to be the full length beard, it doesn't have to be a long beard, it can be stubble just like this. Just make some requests with your client in the chair. We need to pop out just over here, just that little tickler that we grow. Tell you the truth, Mitch, I, I really like this look on you because when you had your beard longer, I mean, it would take a fair bit to grow in these uh, patches that you've got, but when it's nice and short like this, it looks really full. Yeah, the Tom Hardy. Does that make sense? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. looking like it really does already. look fuller. Um, it was very patchy before and didn't have an even tone. I might even taper here a little bit. So I've done two for my main. I said I was going to keep it one length. Again, now that you've got intimate with the beard and the face, and I can see his jawline and the contour of his shapes and form of his face, uh, I'm going to taper my edges in a little bit with a, a, a one and a half and. Just around my cheeks here, at the top of the cheek line, one and a half. It's such a subtle thing to do, but it really, it, the eye follows uh, form and shadow, and it's such a subtle thing to do, just to do a one and a half around that, just at that edge there. And um, I, I may not even sharpen that up, you know, uh, with, uh, I, I will, will, I'll cut right underneath here, but I might leave that uh, natural. Um, just so there's no sharp lines on his cheeks to give the stubble um, a, a, a grown into uh, feel. Give this short beard the effect of a grown into feel. I might even even fade it out with a one slightly. When you're not doing a haircut with a beard trim or a new look, uh, I'll tidy up his neckline. Um, don't try too hard. Don't, just, just don't try too hard so that there's no defining lines between where we're doing the new beard shape and his hair. Um, sometimes it's best not to, you know, still, still keep a bit of softness. Just going to slightly tidy up again. Don't try too hard. Don't go for a very, very sharp line when you're just giving a guy a tidy up when he hasn't had a haircut. Leave it a little soft where it meets the actual hairline. Don't go too sharp so it's like a big square or anything. Rough and ready. This is a rough and ready look. Made famous by a rough and ready actor, Tom Hardy. Thanks for coming, Tom. I'm loving that mode. My pleasure. Mm. <laughs> All right. This is no joke. This is the best transformation. I actually, I really dig Tom Hardy as an actor. Right. I feel like a 70s fast bowler. <laughs> a fast, yes. <laughs> Bring How's a few that? up, we've got a short length. Look, everything goes in circles, you're right, everything goes in circles. So but, well, what are we doing here? We're, we're recreating perhaps a 70s look, but uh, with, with, with detail. <laughs> we're just, yeah. we're, we're, where they looked a bit too mm, unkept, we're, we're just making the, the, the lines a little bit better and a bit more uh, complimenting. Right, um, I just like as a, just as a nice natural, uh, uh, your head in a nice natural uh, position. Um, we only ever see ourselves 
um, you know, back to front through a mirror. It's very hard to see what other people see. People, everyone sees everyone from all different angles, and so it's much easier for someone to come in and do this and put that line in so it's nice and natural. Again, nice and gentle and careful with these berets. They can cut the skin when you invert them. Just follow that natural line. A nice complementing line here. Uh, what we don't want to do is go too far forward to the, the, the chin because then you see this uh, a, a big bit of bare skin here and it really takes away from a, a full beard look. Um, even when doing stubble. From front on it can look fantastic. From the side you've got all that exposed skin if I go too far forward. Just put your head up please mate. Now that I've got my guide on I can get him to raise his head a little bit so I can just get these bits. Just nice short strokes. Mitch has got a very very strong uh, whisker and these berets can actually tear a little bit and pull the hair. It's so a very, very short strokes tip when you're getting lines and very, very careful when you invert. On a, on a beard like his, that can catch and pull and it's very, very uncomfortable. Just very gentle tension when touching the skin. I'm, I'm going to do the rest with my, uh, with my uh, cutthroat razor. Okay, this is a new tool from the Milkman Grooming Company. It's called the Beard Beast from their Bakelite uh, collection of, uh, of beard combs. Again, very rigid, very strong. You've got your fine tooth on one side, got your white tooth on the other. So to groom Mitch's uh, moustache, I'm gonna, I need a finer tooth, I'm gonna use the Beard Beast. I, I like the length on uh, Mitch's mo, so I'm gonna just play with it and we're gonna try and keep that because we're gonna use the mo stick to, to, um, to really, to, to use the length that he's got and really part it out. Okay, so. I'm just going to really gently taper. I'm also work from a part type, just from the middle out a little bit. So I've got a couple of short hairs immediately tapering into the longer. Again, with my corny saying, less is more. We really need these extra hairs. So when a guy's growing his mo, uh, it yes, it is. Um, it's a big commitment because when I brush it straight down, that's much longer than. Uh, Mitch's top lip, it's, it's almost halfway down to the bottom of his bottom lip. Sorry, mate. But when we part, with, and, and with the use of most stick, it's an amazing look, okay? Already without the most stick, you can start, you can start imagining what it's, uh, what it's uh, gonna look like. So, so seeing a guy go to the trouble of grooming a moustache, it's exactly that. You're looking at a guy going to the trouble of grooming himself. So it's, um, it's quite admirable to see someone with a, a grim moustache. I'm going to clean up underneath now. I'm decided I'm definitely sticking with my plan of leaving it natural on the cheeks. We'll cut through it under here and then I'll dress it out with my stick. Bring that skin from the Adam's apple. Take it to one side, it's not going to hurt. Don't try and go over the Adam's apple. Some say it's good to do uh, long, smooth strokes when shaving. I don't think that that's a, a rule. Sometimes short, short strokes are, are, are the way to go. For the most part, I find it is. Okay, he's very, very sensitive. So I think it's perfect to do nice short strokes. So this, you're reducing the risk of, of, of me pulling the whisker and giving him any razor rash. Just nice gentle strokes. Just take your time. Again, looks like there's nothing there. I've got plenty of product left. Plenty of glide. So I'm just gonna use that to clean up. Again, it's another sensation. So I take my, off the top, and a nice massage with a cool towel. It's a nice sensation, just gently massage the eyes. This is just, this product is gold. Absolutely zero sting factor to it whatsoever. There's four fragrances, one for each season.
any micro nicks, any hair pulling, any irritation whatsoever, immediately this is it soothes soothes any of that. Mitch has quite sensitive skin. We don't even have red marks. Okay. He's not right. Now, uh, again, Mitch has sensitive skin, probably naturally slightly dry skin. So I'm just going to put a couple of drops of uh, the Milkman beard oil down to moisturise his skin, and it'll make the stuff feel a bit a little bit softer. But that's not, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it for his skin. Um, do you like a woody scent? Do you, do you know that you're familiar with the beard oils? Do you have a favourite one? I've got the, uh, the, uh, the King of King Wood. Wood? Yeah. Would you like to try a new one? Yeah, go ahead, just one. This is chai latte. It's, uh, it's, it's woody, but it's slightly lighter and spicier. Alrighty. Especially for this, this is the technique I like to use just to get it on, on each pad of my finger. Get it all up. Then I just touch my fingertips. Now I've got it on every fingertip. Rather than putting the whole palm of my hand through you, I can just massage it straight through all on each fingertip. Job done. Now we're going to dress Mitch's Mo with uh, Milkman's Mo stick. The delivery system on this is so user friendly. It's designed like a chapstick, very much, or a lipstick. Uh, screw bottom, you just paint it on. It's very simple. Point and shoot, as they say. No need to preheat or anything. Um, you're going to get a build up effect to start with, but get it on there, get the product on. What I like to do sometimes too, I, I tried to grow my mow out longer. Uh, I, I come in from the top and I twist it. You can see what I've done there already, just by me twisting, twisting down, and then do it the counteractive way this way, twist down already, and I'm dressing the mow in the direction that I want it to dress out. Now this is this is a, a shape that we can further develop by growing the, the, the mow just a little bit longer. It doesn't have to be long at the sides, it doesn't have to be one of these mows that twirls out, but if we grow these hairs towards the end and keep the, the end exactly where they are, we'll just have a great parted moustache that has, you know, it's, it's got great shape to it. We're going for the stubble and stash look with Mitch today, with I, I think we've achieved it effortlessly, and that's all Mitch is doing. So we took his... Uh, uh, this beard down with a number two, uh, a one and a half and a one. I've kept his cheeks nice and natural. I didn't line it out with the cutthroat. We did give him a beautiful, nice, clean line underneath on his neck. Um, we've taken uh, a little bit from the middle of his moustache uh, just to, to cut a little V out to get some short hairs in. So then we started separating straight into the long. We tapered from just a couple of short bits here straight into long hair. We're not going to grow these, but we are going to keep length on our mow and we've dressed it out with uh, Milk Band's Mo Stick and that's Mitch's makeover. Beautiful. Yeah. I feel like I have to be more confident now because only but a confident you, but, you wear it, would... but you wear it so well, it's like, <laughs> this is the it thing, it's, it, it gives you confidence. You've got, you've got the look of a confident guy so you just have to walk around, you don't have to do it.